Good morning folks, what's the crack? It's Drew here, I'm back again with another video today. Please do not forget to like, comment or subscribe to my channel, it helps greatly with my reach to new viewers. That's fantastic, thank you very much. And uh, if you haven't already, uh, please have a wee look at my merch. I've recently made new merch. Um, I know a lot of you are big fans of the 7040, the big powerful bus. So what I've done is I've made it into a t-shirt. Uh, tractors gearing at the big guns and putting out plenty of reek as everyone hoped. And it says, nay life like the farm life, which is pretty, pretty good. I thought that was a, quite a good slogan to be fair, so if you want to have a look at that on you go, that's fantastic. <laughs> so, let's get into it. <laughs> so, how many of you folk watched that BBC documentary and believed it all? <laughs> no, I don't, I watched some of it, uh, didn't like what the folk were doing on that dairy farm right enough. Uh, that, to me it looks like they've been hired and they've been left to their own devices because they've been trusted and well they've been trusted so they've been left to work they don't care they're just getting paid to do the job and that's it they're not farmers they're just folk they've got a job i would never class those people as farmers um horrible uh, never going to condone any of that that's uh, not what you would call typical on a farm it's not a very good representation it's funny how they didn't document a farm, a family farm type idea that's hired, say, one worker. It's funny that. Well, what I'll say is, the man that had the camera, uh, as soon as he started seeing some of the abuse, he should have said something to who hired him, because what it looks like to me is he's been hired to do a job, so he's in there now, he's recording, and he's found some abuse. The person has an agenda, and now because he's found what he's looking for, he has continued to allow said abuse to keep going so he can continue recording it all. If the hire farmer, whatever, knew of what was going on, he would have possibly had words with the workers and either fired them or gave them warnings. Because uh, generally farmers don't want to see their cattle getting abused like that. I for one wouldn't put up with it. Um, and Dad sure as fuck wouldn't either. <laughs> Sorry for swearing. Aye, but aye, just a normal pishy documentary by the BBC once again. So just folk with an agenda want to push veganism. Nothing new there, eh? <laughs> aye, so folk are better to watch YouTube, watch real life farming. Perfect, eh? <laughs> aye, so I hope everyone had a good Valentine Day. Um, I had two lovely coups to AI in the morning, just the ticket. <laughs> so what happened at the weekend in here was, the fat bollocks up the top here decided I'm going to have a go at that water bowl, burst the pipe and flooded the shed. So that was an absolute marvellous start to the weekend. <laughs> and then on Monday there, was it Monday? Dad decided we were going to hoover the roof with the slurry tanker, so they got the tanker attached up to a pipe and uh, it went up onto the roof and we were sucking out the gar and then we had an attachment of metal flattened a wee bit for extra, uh, just that bit more vacuum power and you were shoving it up each individual groove on the roof to try and get as much of the moss off as possible because the moss is lifting off the roof and then it's going down into the gutter and then the gutter's getting filled with moss and then the moss is well choking the gutter and then it's overflowing into the shed and then it's filling the slats up which is absolutely no use because it's really wet the new and there's no chance of getting any slurry out so we're not needing this extra water so it was thankfully dry that day when we were up on the roof, uh, but very slippy as well because of the moss, just giving it that extra greasy layer. But it uh, had to be done, just it took ages. We were up there for a few hours anyway. Uh, took, took a couple of turns about and then uh, 
Aye. That was some job like. <laughs> didn't get it all done. Uh, but didn't get it all done, but we got the majority of it done. Uh, we'll likely go up again another day because it made a hell of a difference. The shed after uh, this morning and yesterday's rain, it's still dry, which is unheard of. Uh, <laughs> it's still dry, which is brilliant. Um, just not what we're needing overflowing gutters like. <laughs> Does anyone want any rain? It's going for free. I'm sick of this. Get my chair. Got a bell on going up the road to get to some cabbies. And then two wheels are strolling in to bed them. I thought I'd seen some video I'd put on Snapchat, obviously, uh, from putting the uh, pipe on the roof to vacuum it but I didn't save it so you sent it to home. So that was a bit of a shame but hey ho next time we're at it I'll get something of it. Just didn't have the time to be doing anything like that. Everything just kept going wrong so I well I suppose when things are going wrong that should be the stuff I'm recording eh? That's what you just love. <laughs> Got the calves bedded. My bale of halos in. Just put it down now. Hey calves. <laughs> nice airy shed this. When I was <laughs> when I was a lot younger, I think it was around about college. Yeah, I was mucking a suit. Got to about here, I think it was, the middle of the shed. Um, pushing the dung, kind of. Grabbing it and taking it away, of course, and mucking it. Uh, pushed a little bit too hard. Whole end of the shed fell out. <laughs> Second away, it was darkness, and then it was daylight. Um, hey, I got a bit of a bollocking for that. <laughs> but sorted now. New wall at the bottom, and then some boarding up, and that's made a hell of a difference in the sense that it's a lot more airy as well so maybe it was a good thing I'd done that and uh, it gets a bit more air in through the sheds and there's you hardly ever get a limonia case in here so perfect but the rest of the shed's quite airy too uh, this was one of the first breeze block sheds that went up and over time it's the bricks have eroded a wee bit so but she's still together. The frame's all concrete, the apex and that, so it's probably the best thing about it. That'll last a very long time, that. <laughs> Just don't shove the walls out. What is to come at some point is we've now got these things to put on top of the slats. The new gang slats. We're going to put these rubber mats down. So we uh, Putting these down in between, you know, a clug down with a big hammer, and they'll be extra comfy with them. Two pallets, so I'll likely just do up to where we finished with the gang slats before we get more. But that's to come at another point in time. But we'll do this when we get a chance. I dare say it'll be a rainy day job. I like so today, but we've got other things to do today. So that's another rainy day job. <laughs> so, aye, that's one of the things today. So, looking forward to that. What's everyone else up to? What are you up to in your farms? And what are you up to in general? Let me know in the damn comments. <laughs>
On board the Heather Isle, I played a few tunes and I broke all the strings. And then I threw it over the side, so I made my way to Stornoway. 